G'day Antax and Allies, Ricky Retro here and welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead. Now I, as you can see on the screen I'm up to episode 3, The Long Road Ahead. Now in the previous videos I'd only just been doing hour long ones uh, because I was worried about like space and whatnot. but then when I had a proper look at what I was doing, uh, how much space it was actually taking up on my external, I realised, hey, you know, I can actually do more than hour-long videos, especially with um, a game such as this, which would more make sense rather than, you know, forcing people to watch five minutes of end credits. So, uh, rather than take, uh, taking a break after every hour, what I am going to do for the benefit of the people watching me on Twitch is I'm actually going to play through the whole uh, episode and then take a break. And as for, for, the, for the benefit of YouTube, I'm going to be uploading episodes. So not just hour-long video, hour videos, but just whole videos. Now, this first video is not going to go um, for over an hour, I don't think, because I already played, well, a fair bit of a portion through the first part of it. So um, this episode is not going to be as long as the next episode is. But... Um, yeah, so I'll get to this episode, I'll end the video, upload that to YouTube at a later time, uh, but I'll take a break on Twitch, come back five minutes, and then we'll do it that way. So, <laughs> how you going, Gabba? Uh, without further ado, let's continue. Let's continue. Thank you. taking some time for the the controller to yeah maybe I hadn't pressed the right button or something what happened last oh that's right yeah so everything hit the fan on the farm and I think oh okay we're playing from the beginning of this episode again oh shit we're playing oh bugger Oh, well, okay, fine. We're playing from the beginning of this episode. Even though I hit continue, there's going to be some dialogue coming up, which you would have seen before in the last video. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Sorry about this. Uh, yeah. I'll put in a reminder for myself to make a note on Looks the last like we video. we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice I don't know why it keeps... This will keep us going. Going to the keyboard this, for we'll default. Get the winter here. The winter? I'm lucky I'll our right asses one. off here. Because piling into an RV with you two after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We don't have walker problems. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health, but he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What it. about medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. 
She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the <coughs> shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell got a on point Earth. This. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. I don't know. I think in a situation like this, I'd want to hole up there, oh, but... Things are coming to a head. You could say that. With... Well, I think you did good mm. today. I'll and I later. find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. No worries, Gabba. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Yeah. Yeah. That look back. <laughs> she wants to do more than talking. Yeah, so I apologize about this. Uh, I'll make a note of it. I'll even put a timestamp and say, hey, look, uh, due to the program and everything like that, we had to replay this scene over. So, yeah, I'll put a time on it. Get through this because this is around about the last where I ended off the last video. This conversation between these two. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing oh, shit. Fuck's sake. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Paranoia isn't going to help us. I know what this sounds like, but I'm not paranoid. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. I'll look around. Okay. I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. So that's... A mm. mystery. Jesus, <laughs> Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? <laughs> You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. <laughs> you can help. Don't tell anybody. I'm kind of thinking... Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. 
So even if you give kids something to do, I mean, if it's something that will get their mind off the shit that's hit the fan, I mean, it'll definitely reduce a hell of a lot of anxiety and paranoia that's going on around. So I said, I'm worried about Duck shooting his mouth off to, yeah. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Let's ask. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Whoa. Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. She's got a point. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. Honesty is the so best policy. So you do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. You'll thank me later. No. Well, I'm gonna hold you is there to anything that. else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll <laughs> feel safe. I don't know, this place <coughs> is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. It's probably why it's best to stay mobile. I'm not going to ask her about flashlight, I mean... You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. And it's probably also a good time to tell people, because I mean... I've done... Well, my character's done. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to refer to me as in the first person. I've done a hell of a lot to show these people that they can trust me. Especially in situations that matter. So, you know, um... Sure. Look into this thing. Some people Good freak idea. out, but I mean... They'll get over that. Because, yeah. In a situation like this, it's definitely... You know one of those lifetime things ago, you know, this is what happened then. But this is the situation now. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called I'm not a leaf just it out and to My her. teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. I have to ease into the conversation. See, it's the same. Um... Kind of. Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. She'll follow me wherever I go, so, I mean, it's no point asking her, you know, whether she likes it here or she wants to go out on the road. She'll go wherever I go. And I'm saying, yeah, we got to move. Claire, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be breaking the, uh, the news to people. I know I can trust Kenny. Hey, you two. How are you doing? 
We're okay. Catch it, I was having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? I'll talk to Kenny first. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? Not because... I don't know. It... It's serious. Oh, G'day, man. Jay. How you going, mate? What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. <laughs> she-devil. Yeah. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Fuck what? No. I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Yeah, you see, I figured, well, that touching kids thing was way out there. I mean, perfectly legitimate question, but damn! <laughs> Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Joe. It's a bit hot, but yeah, I'm good. How are you? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, Knew I was a convicted fella. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, oh, so sweetheart. But it had nothing to do with that. Hmm. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife uh, were... Enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. Oh, fuck. I held money back and... Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He handled the situation. He smashed his head in. Oh, <gasps> see, come on, man. I mean, yeah, just saying, look, he gotcha. handled the situation would have been a perfectly acceptable Everything explanation. Changing. But he can't hate Kenny. She can't hate Kenny for that. Because if Kenny hadn't have done what I, if I hadn't have done what I did, if Kenny hadn't have done what I did, then she wouldn't even have a husband. You know, she'd be in that shit all on her own. No, no Kenny, no Lee, no Lily, no Clementine. She was in that room too. So, you know, and she probably end up being food on the thing. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Sometimes the dialogue in this, like the choices of dialogue, you know, just, it leaves a lot to be desired. This kid, he is scared shitless. How do I break the news to him? Well, I guess I haven't got a choice, but I am. I'm going to do it. I'm going to break the news to all of them. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Sure, Lee. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh... On my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask anything about... Broken light yet? Because if I, unless I'm, what the hell? Wait. There we go. Mm. Duck's favorite. Oh, okay. Hopscotch. Cool. Because I know Duck does something here, and yeah, I'll look around for clues first. 
Ah, see, broken glass. There's some broken glass on the ground there. There's something drawn there. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> hmm. Sherlock. Pink. Hmm. Dark. <laughs> Maybe. What do you think it is? <clears throat> I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Well, it's not weird. Okay, back previous to investigating. In a previous episode, um, Lee gave Clementine some chalk. There we go. Yeah, but a broken torch isn't evidence of anything. Yeah, sure, they, you know, you don't throw shit away, you fix it. But, I mean, this shit could be just as innocent. Actually, I wonder if I can talk to her again. She convinced me to go out and start telling people. She was in the background watching as I was talking to Kenny. I uh, talked to Kenny about who I am. And? He was cool. He just worries about his family. That wasn't so hard, was it, tough guy? <clears throat> I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She... she was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Shh, I didn't Why tell Lily. Picked him? Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Haven't told Lily yet. Although, not looking forward to that conversation. I mean, her father... Fuck, I don't regret doing what I did there, but... Hey. Find anything? I need to tell you something. What is it? I was sent to prison before the plague. You think that's news? I guess I hoped it was. Worse, did you think that story died with my dad? Anything else? No. Yeah, can you try being cool for a second? Jesus. I mean, I get it, you know? I'm the man who held you back while Kenny killed your old man, but fuck, man. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Sounds like? Sounds It's not making a sound. <laughs> uh, oh, that's right. I was still looking around for clues and shit. Oh, no, no, no. I'll go back and talk to Carly. Then I'll ask Clementine about the chalk. I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. It went about as well as you would expect. Okay. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. <coughs> I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. <laughs> High five. Come on. Cool. <laughs> Never leave a person hanging, whether it's a kid or a grown-ass man. Never leave them. When you got that up, okay, you have to hit it. 
even if you wa- don't want to, you have to, okay? Because there is nothing more embarrassing to a person than going, eh, and then there's just like, oh, that, that is just not cool, man. Not cool. Anyway, uh, let's have a look. More talk. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Didn't mean to press that. I mean, if I remember right, the broken torch really doesn't have a bearing on it. I think if if I remember right, Clem probably broke the torch and, you know, just didn't tell anyone. That's right, Joe. You just don't, okay? It's against the bro code. If you ever watch How I Met Your Mother, okay, one of the bro code is never leave a man hanging. In a high-five situation, never leave him hanging. It goes for you too, girls, if you're watching this. <laughs> All right, let's open up this thing. Somebody was over here too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck, you did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. And that was it too, because uh, at the very end of the last episode, uh, you may recall seeing a, um, well, that woman that you killed earlier in the last episode uh, with a camcorder and had a look at it. And she said something like, don't worry, the bandits will leave you alone. They're getting all that food from St. John's. And this is after we just annihilated the farm. So, yeah. There's a great down there. <clears throat> yep. It's all the medicine. Bitch. So yeah, Lily wasn't being paranoid. Thing is, though, great. I can go back and tell her, okay, fine, you're not being paranoid, you're right, but that's only just going to lead to the bigger problem. Who in the group is the traitor? You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall, and there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? Good point. What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, man, get people your out there. out here! Oh, we fuck! We fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! We can split the supplies, spread them around. Or we could just kill you and take it all! And, and, and what about when they run out? When you don't have us out there collecting them for you? Well... I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. And shut up, bro! <laughs> oh shit! <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> Fuck, did I kill him? Oh snap, okay, here we go. Get back there! Smoke him out! Watch it! Fucking we just gotta get out of here! Stay back! No shit! Those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV. Ah! 
Go around, shit for brains. He's back there. Fuck. Whoa. Alright, give us a look at ya. Yeah. Now, get over here. Hurry. Man, you saved our asses. Again. Get inside. Get inside. Stop fucking around. Oh, Hang fuck. Help! Katja, hang on! Oh, okay. Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Get the rest of around behind. Wasn't even remotely close, but yeah. Whoop! Where the fuck? Oh, fuck. Well, that was a class of fuck. I think I'll go from there. Gotcha. Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Why did it? Asshole. Fuck! Huh? Hi there, me! Help! Gotcha! Hang on! Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Yeah, and down you go. Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Get your ass around behind. Ah. Oh. Oh, fuck off! Hi there, me! Help! Piss me off. Hang on! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fucking. Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Get your ass oh, around Fuck behind. off! Oh, fuck off! Yeah. Go on. And... Done. Gotcha. Hurry, come on, come let's on. go. Cliff, get inside the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, Christ! Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Oh, fuck that! Thank God this thing isn't the most accurate. Oh shit. How much ammo have I got in this bad boy? Lily, last chance. Get down here. Shit. Come on. Okay. Yeah, because when the fireworks started, man, that's it. That was yeah. drawing every Jesus, walker. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm You're sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. It's we not just important. Lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. Shit. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. 
You're in no position to make demands. You're in no whoa, position whoa, whoa. to You're fucking drag the shit fingers. out of this. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Holly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Let's just let it go. People make mistakes, and yeah, this is a fucking doozy. But it's not worth it, Lily. Then what do we not forgive? Honestly, tell me. Kenny can kill my dad. Carly can steal from us. Carly Where's didn't steal lie? shit. Nobody was stealing anything. Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Whoa! Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now, then. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just Fucking kick you out. Thing we should hear half. what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker! There's no way it was Carly. It was somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Could have been. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. No one's voting. You don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. He's broken, Lily. I can see that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Then you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. Ah. This Fuck is it. About trust, and I've shit. never trusted you. I did it. What? Yeah, it was me. That gets you to lay off the kid? I think you're capable of being a real piece of shit. But I know it wasn't you. Not with her in your life. There! I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page exactly. from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Fuck! I was expecting her to do that to Ben. Drop it. Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. Fucking I we are. Trusted Lee. I swear. Please. You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. <laughs> Should have made that. Here. You're a Fucking... murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer. You've had Lee with right. you this whole uh, time. Bring back memories to me too, before. zombie. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? Exactly. You can't have someone as hunting as her. All of us. I don't have anything left. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. I mean, she could have easily have just, you know, lined the kids up and done that shit. Fuck that.
And whoever was giving them supplies was probably doing us a favour. At least until the RV got, you know, repaired. I mean, a fucked up situation, but yeah. Can't have someone like that in the group. Not if you're expecting to live. Lee, a word, please? I'll talk to her later. But I mean, she saw that. Fuck, man. What's up? Is Doc feeling all right? <gasps> Fuck, that's right, he got bit. Fuck! What the fuck? Happened during the raid. What's the plan? You've never had a bite victim in a group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. <clears throat> Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Jeez. How the hell do you have that conversation? Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel good. What about Carly? There's nothing to say. It's horrible. I'm sorry if no, I... No, you don't apologize. You had nothing to do with it, sweet pea. Too. I heard you outside my treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. <laughs> uh, that's nice. <laughs> I didn't, though. Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> Better talk to Ben, man. I mean, I think it was him that was doing it. <sighs> Whoa! What happened? Oh, holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a dream sequence. <laughs> we got something up ahead. Roads blocked. Now we gotta deal with this. Yeah, I think I better talk to Ben first because I can only just imagine how fucked up he's doing. Should have filled up my water bottle before I did this. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Oh, man. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? 
<laughs> cross my mind. Okay, just uh, bear with me. I'm just going to fill this up. I'll be back in about ten seconds. Sorry about that. All right, I'm back. Let's go. I'm going to talk to Ben first because what happened to Carly's definitely got to be on his mind. And if I remember right, I think it was Ben that was feeding them the supplies. I'm not going to go... I'll ask him what he would have done with Lily. I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? <laughs> it's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods, just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. I'm not gonna ask him if it was him because, yeah. He's already going to be feeling like shit enough as it is, and honestly, I just don't think it's relevant. The door to the boxcar. Whoa. Okay, that just made me jump a bit. <laughs> Wasn't yeah, expecting man. that. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. A clipboard. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. Okay. Looks unopened. Has it got water in it? I'll take this to Kanja for Doc. Yeah, I think... I'm going to do that right now, actually. I'm not going to go out onto... Wait, is this the way to go? No, wrong way. I'm going to go to catch it now and give Duck that water. Um, what? What the fuck? Oh, idiot. No, fucking... Stop walking places. Three doors to a parallel universe. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Now let's have a look out this side. Looks like 
it'll get that pin out. There's got to be a better way to do this. Oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> ah, shit. Broken. Well. It's broken on the other side too, isn't it? Uh, okay. Is there anything else in this box car? No, oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's the engine. A switch. I think right now what I need to do first is get some kind of a tool. But if I remember, last time I played this guy. Ah, there we go. Get that. I don't think it matters which tool I take. But at least I know where the other two all are in case I need it. So I'm going to go back, see if I can unhinge that pin. Uh, not that way. There we go. Definitely pry this thing free if I can break it loose first. The other one was just a spanner, the other one was an adjustable wrench. I agree with you on that one. At this point, what's done is done. And if it was him, he's clearly feeling shit enough. If it wasn't him, that's a blow to trust. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's just, you know, at this point, that just, it is completely irrelevant. And I don't regret leaving Lily behind because I mean, damn, man. Shot Carly right in the head, no fucking warning. Ben was freaking the fuck out and she could have easily just turned on the kids. I mean, can you imagine what she'd done if she'd found out um, uh, Duck was bitten? Would she have even hesitated? That's one hell of a mess. Yeah, so... Mm, there is no point bringing that up. What's done is done. I mean... Couldn't trust those bandits anyway. And I was completely sidetracked by the conversation because I was going in the wrong place. <laughs> I think there are more fucked up scenes to come, dude. But yeah, that that was yeah. <laughs> I forgot how fucked this game was too. Okay. Nothing. And that was the third door from the left. What's in this one? Oh that's right, no, I was gonna go see about that adjustable wrench and see if that will break the pins off it. Because I know I have to get that train running. Is this the one with the tools in it? No, that was just the engine primer. Ah, yep, back. Next one. That's the one. Let's get the adjustment. Yeah, I know what you mean. Game in general is, yeah. But then again, I mean, at least like with the game they're keeping in with the in line with the TV series. Don't know if it's keeping in line with the graphic novel. I've never pl I've never read it, so. But I know the graphic novel is more based on the TV series, even though there are significant changes from well, from what I've been told. 
there are a lot of changes uh, or a lot of differences between the graphic novel and the TV series, even though the TV series is based on the graphic novel. All right. Does this break the pin off? It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Uh, zombie, do you know what I do with this? Do I have to get the train trying going first and then... Hmm. Oh, maybe I have to enlist uh, help. I'll go talk to Kenny. This in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. Hey man, we're still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. It's fine. Radiator could use a rest as it is. Um... Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. Yeah, well, it looks like I'm going to take ages on this, and I wanted to have a break in between episodes, not every hour, so... But you know what? I'm a man of my word. I'm going to do this, damn it. I can resist the evils of the nicotine. I think maybe I've got to shunt this a bit or something like that, like... Shit. Oh. That's okay. I've got something to club my head with if he's... We got one. Walker. Sitting in the chair. We got him. Smash my head. What are you waiting for? Oh, he was already dead. Suppose <laughs> we ought to look him over. Yeah. Vague memories of people taking ages on it. Uh, I've never read the graphic novel, but from what I uh, hear, Walking Dead takes most of most all of its inspiration from the graphic novel, while also being its own thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, because as far as I know, wait. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to hear it. Yeah, for, uh, from what, as far as I know, there is no graphic novel on Fear the Walking Dead or any other Walking Dead graphic novels. As far as I know, I could be wrong. I uh, don't think this guy came back. Christ. Yeah, because his head caved in when... That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I love okay, Kenny's mo. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. <laughs> How the hell we get it moved? <laughs> Handlebars. Know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Well, of Man, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. A bunch of papers. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. Didn't... Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. And it's been torn. Pages are gone. <laughs> of course. Can Why can anything break. ever be simple? Why should it ever be simple? I mean, you know, end of the world as we know it. Dead rising from the grave, of course. The instructions of how to tur uh, turn a steam engine on, of course, has to be torn away for no explicable reason whatsoever. Rotten lunch. Yeah, don't eat that. Um, let's open up the door. Fear the Walking Dead was supposed to be an actual origin. Oh, fuck! 
Well, fuck you. I don't want to use my gun on him. This door's gonna hurt. Yep, okay, now I know what to do. Okay. You aren't gonna like this. Yay! Animal crackers. We got food. What else? Is there anything else to... No. Okay. Let's get back. Is there anything in the back seat? No, it's not an option. Dead dude. It's in pretty good shape for a wreck. Yeah, well, it just looks like only the back seat got fucked. Oh, I could have walked around the front. Nah. Um. I'm gonna have one more try at that, the back thing there. If not, I'm gonna try and look around for the startup instructions, although I wouldn't even know where to begin fucking looking for that shit. Mm, okay. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. I think what I'll... What's this? Derailed. That one there before. Uh, I can't go this way. Can't see this way. Have you... The Walking Dead was supposed to be origin story. We saw how long that lasted. Oh, is Fear the Walking Dead no longer... Oh, because it's not an origin anymore. The shit's already hit the fan, hasn't it? And if I saw a promo poster for it, is it that guy there, um, the first guy that Rick ran into where in the first episode of The Walking Dead, that guy, is he in Fear the Walking Dead now? I am so far behind on the story. The last episode I saw of The Walking Dead was when the camp got raided and the fucking tiger came up and, yeah, fucked everything up. <laughs> that was the last one. And on Fear the Walking Dead, I don't know, they were on a boat? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, well. I'm just seeing promo posters and stuff like that. Anyway, let's look around for... Okay, that's as far to the map as I can go. Where would I find the start up engine? Oh! Maybe the instruction to start up the engine was in that motor thing. Where that other red, uh, that other button was. Oh, mm. I stopped when Negan came along. There was a single carrot on a uh, Fear the Walking Dead. I didn't obviously hate, so I never continued. So I never continued it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> That's the thing about the the Walking Dead. I'm worried about. It's just like Might okay, there was inside. there was one fucked up character, and then the next season there was another fucked up character. Then in the next season there was a. A previous fucked up character was even more fucked up, and I mean, that's pretty much it. Now, it's season by season, we're just trying to figure out, you know, how fucked up characters can Might get. Be something else. Would the startup thing be where we got a problem? What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. Great input there, Kenny. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's no point just pushing buttons, although. 
If my ex-girlfriend was in this situation, she'd be pushing those buttons all fucking day. <laughs> we, uh, we went to Maritime Museum one time here in Sydney. And uh, we went on an old retired Navy boat, Australian Navy boat. The HMAS Parramatta, was it? Oh, anyway, we were just looking around. We get up to the front of the bow, or the bow of the boat underneath, and there's this, there's this button there. And on this button, clear as day, on top of the button is a sign. It says, do not push. There is no vagueness about it. It is, do not push. There, you cannot write instructions as simple as that. What does she do? She pushes the button. <laughs> what happened next? Lights went red all in the bow of the ship. And there was this alarm that just went, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Got out of there fast. But yeah, just, you couldn't, you know, couldn't make that up. If there was a button, had to push it. Went on a helicopter ride once. And she's up the front, I'm at the back, next to the, she's up the front next to the pilot, I'm up the back, and we've got the helmet on. And she's like, oh, Rich, look at all these buttons. I'm like, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pilot was like, yeah, you can push that button if you want. I'm like, don't encourage her, she'll start pushing every fucking button. <laughs> There's something up on this side. No, just back around here. I am, this is it, I'm, I'm legitimately stuck. I really don't know, like I Mac. The train. Yeah, why can't I pick? I the train. Nothing about the train. Okay, yeah, there's the, Oh, did that guy have the startup menu? Come Thank on, Kenny, talk to me. What's up? God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys, we can figure it out. Yeah, but the notes might very well be in here, game, and I... Uh, yeah, let's not talk about duck here. There's I'll plenty of time to, to talk it. about that. Me too. Ah, sounds about right, love. <laughs> oh, hang on. Can I? No. Fuck's sake! I've already looked in this, haven't I? There is... Oh, hang on. No, can't walk there. Uh, nothing there. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to look this up on the internet, I think. I'm going to have to ask Google, how the fuck do you get the train going in the walking deck? We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, you see, what you do is you get, um, get a piece of paper, you scribble over it, all right, and then anything that was handwritten should come up on the thing. I saw that in a, I don't know, was it a movie or a detective show I saw? I'm not sure. Uh... Uh, let's have a look. Anything else? Ah, pen. Pencil, right there. Thank you. Give me that. Alright. 
Here we go. Okay. I'm on this. But even if I get the shit going, how the... F Maybe I've got to do this first and then that will unlock something else. Because I couldn't get into the RV before. Notepad, here we go. Perfect. You can All read right. it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. All right. So, six. First two down. Two up. Three up. One down up. Five. Mm, well, I don't know. Uh, can I refer to it as I go? Yeah, okay, back. So, boom. Okay, so, you're up. You're up. Up. Oh, hang on. Am I? No, they're down. Fuck's sake. I'm an idiot. Down. Down. Up. Up. And the last one's up. Alright. Hey! Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Okay, so now... Five. One dial that way, another dial that way. So... Boom. Now we're talking. Mm-hmm. Um, what was next? Nine. Where's nine? Where the fuck is nine? No, I don't want to open up the door. Where the fuck is nine? Where the fuck is one and two? Oh, hang on. Whoop. That's eight. Is that nine? No, that's seven. That door open? No. Oh! Nine's outside. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> this one. Yep. Nine. See? Told you. Uh, what do we do? We go that way first and then that way. Okay. So counterclockwise and then clockwise. So, boom. Counterclockwise. And then, clockwise. Eh? Eh? Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, but we're still stuck. Yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mum, let's see if she'll move. She ain't gonna move. The thing's stuck. all yours uh well thankfully that's the only one lit up okay that might have loosened it of course we're still attached can yeah. you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck yeah all right here we go <sighs> and bingo was his name though Kenny, we're loose. Okay, sweet. We are loose. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. Ah, kids, load up. Oh, what's going on here? You touch oh, fuck. My stuff. Where'd you come from? Yeah, I touched your stuff. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? The guy who owns that stuff. 
<laughs> I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? Mission accomplished. But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. <laughs> I'll do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. I think they're warming to anybody that's not want to bite their fucking heads off or put a gun to their head either. You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. <laughs> he gave us candy. Preaching to the too. choir, girl. Why is he looking like that? Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. The man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. Ah, <coughs> oh, fuck. Okay, well, let's address the fucking white elephant in the room. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. He's cool, Kenny. I mean, shit, I took his water bottle. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. <laughs> Couldn't find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Yeah, but now it's a boxcar that is on the move, dude. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, cat. There's I'll not be really anything to talk through, I don't through, want to hear man, any I nonsense mean, until we get where we're going. If that was my kid, I'd be like, yeah, nah. You know. Although I'd be with him 24, like, every second, you know. I wouldn't be trying to figure out how to... I'm sure there's probably a whole lot of dialogue and stuff that I missed, but I don't know. I really just didn't want to drag this out. Oh, fuck. I just remembered what happens too, man. This is going to suck. Be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them. Yeah, something like that. Yes. No. Oh, it's a shame. Lee. Lee, Fuck. I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. <coughs> Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? Oh, man. 
he's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. No, you think you'd be running here, but then again, you're on a fast moving train. You need to stop the train. Oh, man. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. Stop the train, Kenny. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. You couldn't save Herschel's son then, and you can't save Duck now. Fuck, no, that's mouth. not the... So you're running like a coward. What the... F no, that is not... I deserve that. You don't even have a child. You don't know what this is like. You fucker. You're not helping my family. You're not helping Clementine. You're not helping anybody. Yeah, I'm not ducking it. Whoa, 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 hey. I fucking hate you, Lee. Do you hear me? I... Nah. No, no, no. I'm going to exit the game. I'm going to go back. No. That was not... Yes. Exit. And... Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. All right, hang on. I'm doing that again. I'm doing that again. That is not... That is not the way it's going to be between Kenny. Or because I hit the wrong fucking button. So... And that's what it was. I, I legit hit the wrong button. That's not what I meant to say. So I'm doing that whole conversation again. I know it sucks, but I'm doing it. Deal with it. Oh, fuck. No, don't tell me. Thank fuck. Okay. You need to stop the trade. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. I'm gonna be looking down now because, yeah. 
You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. A bad thing happened to someone else's. Can't hide him for that. This world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. I mean, Jesus, man. Stop I killed a man. guy and I'm still alive. What the fuck? Did you just see his shirt there? Now the logo on his shirt? Bruin Farkin Company? <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's a hell of a time to laugh about something, but I only just noticed that on his shirt. Oh, this is gonna suck. Again, it's... I think it's time. <clears throat> the boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, I fucking forgot Fuck. how emotional this can just get. who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. I'll do it. No. It should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. Fucking I. Please right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest? So Clementine doesn't have to see. Good call. Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Yeah, no parent should have to do that to their child. What's happening? Duck is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Fuck, oh, that's right. Be fine. Fuck. Oh man, this is a kind of an episode. Cat, cat, gotcha. Why, cat, honey? Oh, fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> you said you could do it, Cap. God damn it. 
You said you could do it. Oh my God. I. I. Get out of here, Kenny. No, I do this. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Fuck, I didn't expect him to still be standing right next to him then. Fuck. Chuck said. What Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did. Oh fuck's sake, Chuck. Sorry. I'm gonna go talk some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? What you fucking how you doing me, asshole? Say it to me, asshole. What you said to my girl. Excuse me, son. Telling the little girl she's gonna die. I wanna scare people, scare me. Motherfucker. Okie dokie. She's gonna die. Son of a bitch. How is that? How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Now we're both scared. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I'll tell you. As long as you don't toss me over the rail. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? Get a boat and get the fuck out of there. We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it's a it coastline, out. coastline, dude. Map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. Another a little advice. girl? 
Jesus, what has he been through? You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there, about whether or not you folks want company. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. There's really nothing I can say to Kenny right now. I mean, if it becomes an option later, or, you know, or if it's an option at all. Jesus, can I even hey, talk to you? Hey. Aren't many of us left? Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude, if he sticks around. <laughs> We're all, We're all homeless. homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. See you. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Hey. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See you. Yeah. Um, okay. He said he had scissors in his backpack, didn't he? They look clean enough. <coughs> hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh... Tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. Well... You're gonna need to learn to protect yourself because, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be around, you, you know, that long. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got mm, it. There's that. I mean, with one of these. If you can't First, run or you can't hide. Don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? 
Do I have to? Yes. Yeah, you do. What do you mean I'm left? Close. Now keep it steady. Uh okay, a little higher. Oh, okay. I'm Bit right. To the right. Lower. Aim lower. Hey. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. Okay, so aim left. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. And aim little lower. Little. There you go. Nice. How many times do you have to teach her to unlock her elbows? I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Well, you're not gonna feel good when I start taking your hair off, honey. Hey, Clint. Thank God there's a conversation Hi. there. It was just like, oh shit. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Because I didn't want to like no. press the button and you it just goes, right, give me the head. <laughs> like, That's not whoa. safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. No. Because it does. Kinda. Well then, cut it, it won't smell Do that bad. you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, oh, that's right. we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. <sighs> Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Nope, no idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know. I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> but think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Man, that's... No, it's different. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. I was sent to jail. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? Tough <laughs> time. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. Lily gave yeah. them to- All set. <laughs> Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. lived here a while. Looks like Chuck has some booze left. I think I'll give that booze to Kenny. God it's knows he's earned it. Uh, that was a bloodstain of Kenny. That was Kenny. Um, ducks. I can head out towards the camp. Ah, wrong button.
Let's just get to the ocean. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Care. Yeah. It's the best plan. It is. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? Hey. Yeah? Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish he'd just leave me alone. Oh, for fuck's sake! Who am I supposed to talk to next? The homeless guy again? I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. That was a loud shake of water. Sure. Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kidding. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. All right, now I tell Kenny, hey, look. Chuck's got a fifth of vodka. He wants to share a drink with you. Get the fuck out of there and stop moping around. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. Hooray. Now, should I shit in this chair? Oh, fuck it, they're up front. They'll know something's coming. Thanks. Oh, okay. I thought they'd be up the front, just like, yep, yep, yep. I would be. Fuck knows I would. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. No, it's not. Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend. That he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No. Just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. That was a fucking ass reaction. Like... You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Yeah, I know. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, fuck, mate. With everything Kenny's been through, man, that would probably be just the final tipping point. And there is no hey, way in hell I could possibly do that to him because that is just fucked up. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. Our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Yeah. Well, 
No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Where would we even look? I can remember where they were staying. Maybe they didn't go far. Clementine. Please, Lee. All right. Let's figure it out on the map, but a boat is the ultimate plan. Yes. They can come with us, right? Yes. Of course. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Clem, come on. That's not a good idea. You can't tell me what to do. Clementine. I don't want to talk about it anymore. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I don't know I what that was. See how far. Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Okay, there is no way in hell they could have heard that. Like, they definitely could not have heard... No. Snap. Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas, or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could've just kept walking. <sighs> no, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. Okay, so Kenny still, yeah. He's not resentful, at least, or at least he's not displaying that he's resentful. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Yeah, not the sort of thing you want to joke about. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. You want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Language, dude. It's a kid. Oh, so he gets to swear. <laughs> this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I 
I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. It's empty. Okay, so this is probably going to be another one of those long, complicated fucking puzzles, but like I said, I ain't finishing this until... Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. Well, let's have a look inside anyway. Oh, jeez, that's all that was in there, stop signs. That's oh, got some electric the tape. useful thing in here. Uh, okay. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Right. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes. Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Um, okay. Let's go have a look at that station. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. I think that's what I had to get to first. Oh. I've got something stuck up my nose that just refuses to leave. And it's pinching on a nerve there, and it's making this eye go all watery. Okay, so it's an old train station. What? Yeah, okay. No entry. Hmm. Oh, okay. Pretty much no such thing anymore. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. <laughs> Sorry. No such thing as uh, trespassing. Luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Uh, I can't see in there. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Um... All right, can I... 
Mm, old Bert. Uh. Oh, hello. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in. We'll have to find a way in. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. <clears throat> okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Uh, what, what do, do you see? see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which Which's actually crazy. might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be damned. At least finally something. Did she just? Oh, she unlocked it. Right. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? Yeah, do that. I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Yeah, prop it open with this. There you go. Too easy. Um. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Yeah, but is that thing Locked open? up good. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Yeah, but, I mean, can she... You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Wait, where the fuck are the keys? Come on, scoot. Behind you! Oh shit! Fuck! Uh, back, 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 back! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Jeez. Oh, fuck. Okay, Clem, you're gonna have to man the fuck up. Jeez, now! Fuck, it's still locked! What? Oh, for fuck's sake! So good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. Yeah, well, you did. We found some walkers. You and an eight year old versus three of them, huh? Yeah, what can we say? We're a badass team. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. I don't. And she's more impressive than I thought. I really don't know what I'm doing, man. <laughs> this is all, you know. They 
didn't have much business back then. So there's nothing in there except that. But hey, okay. that's something. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Not sure if that's what I really wanted to teach her, but, you know, that works. Wait, do we have... Where's the blade torch? I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Uh. Okay. You still keeping an eye out? Think this will work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? Ah, oh, right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta light it. Shit. What's up? You gotta light it? There's a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Well, I've got tape. Fuck it, I looked in that van first. Oh, holes. Yeah, but that's electrical tape. Is electrical tape enough? That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. <laughs> Hell you are! <laughs> and he's dangling God, him. You're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Okay, it's horde night. Guys, there's something coming. What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go. Fuck. Omi, cut, cut. Yeah, I you am. really can't rush that shit. It's going. Pull me up. Kenny, go! Shit! What the hell do we do now? Kick what the blood torch. This works. Holy crap! There you go. We gotta jump! What? No jump. way! Jump! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Uh, uh. I think maybe I should have pushed him. Ah! Oh, fuck's sake! Shit! It's okay. Stop the train, Kenny. Stop the train. Fucked up leg. Maybe. 
It's okay, honey. I'm okay. <sighs> I saved you first because you break your fucking leg. What was I supposed to do? Leave you to feet? Fuck that. You think Crystal would have forgiven me? That was a lot of them. <laughs> Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Well, that fire did jack shit. I was expecting the tanker to blow and take a whole bunch of them out. And here we are in sunny Savannah, Georgia. Just drew a picture of Kenny. Oh, Kenny Duck and Catcher. Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. It's gotten too bad, you know? You, me, nobody could take all this. But we have. What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. That fucking thing was broken. Yeah, so did I. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. I remember. I remember who that is. Yeah. Not gonna say. Spoilers. I mean, then again, game's been out long enough, but in case you are watching this for the first time. Almost Is there a Peachtree uh, Street and a Kim's Way in Savannah, Georgia? I'll look it up after this. We need to focus on finding a boat right now, Claire. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you! Okay. So, uh... Did you shoot the girl in the street? No, I didn't. Yeah, main 60% of players didn't. Yeah. Left behind. Did you abandon Lily? Yeah. I mean, probably could have killed her but or taken her with no I wasn't no that was not going to be an option so yeah wasn't taken her with him did you fight Kelly no I took I legit pressed the wrong button that led into a fight and then it looked like you know it was about to kill me so I stopped it there and just restarted and thankfully it restarted from that point so yeah I talked him down uh, a heavy burden did you shoot D duck there was no fucking way in hell I was going to let shit Kenny shoot his own son. Now, especially after what just happened to his wife, or what his wife just did to herself. So, yeah, man, that just would have been too much just to push a man over the edge. Or to push anyone over the edge, I'm sure. Uh, 
A helping ha hand. Did you help oh, me? Well, of course I did. Although I'm a bit pissed he went off at me about like, oh, why did you save me first? What it was like, because she was able to run, dude. You had a fucked up leg. <laughs> yeah, it was a no-brainer. Anyway, but uh, yeah. I am going to, uh, well, for YouTube, uh, I'm going to end the video here. So if you liked what you saw, hit the like button. If you want to see more and get notified about more, click the subscribe and notification button. And feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Until the next video, take it easy, or take it any way you can. I don't take it any other way. Later, Legends.